Welcome back to Let's Talk Automotive and our segment on what happens during a service when you take your vehicle in for either a minor or a major service. Now, last time we were at Vatswaye and we've come upstairs now to Penta Motor Group into the Suzuki workshop where we're going to take you through some of the elements of a major service. So what I've decided to do is to actually take the service schedule for the Suzuki Ortega and that illustrates very clearly the differences between what we typically would do with a minor service and then with a major service. So we'll recap a little bit in terms of some of the, the issues that we went through last time. So let's have a look here. The service intervals on the Ortega are every 15,000 kilometers. So if we have a look at the engine, we're going to replace oil and oil filters every service. But when it comes to our engine drive belt, for example, we're only going to replace that every 90,000 kilometers. So that clearly falls into our definition of what a major service would be. When it comes to spark plugs, we replace those every 45,000 kilometers. Our air filter, and that's the engine air filter, also every 45,000 kilometers. But during your minor services, it will be inspected because sometimes we operate our vehicle under different conditions. So like myself, I live on a dirt road, so I'm going to have to have my filter perhaps replaced more often than somebody who always drives on a tarmac road. And then our fuel filter is replaced also every 45,000 kilometers. Then we have our emissions control valve, which is inspected every 90,000 kilometers. And when it comes to brake fluid, our brake fluid is also replaced every, in this case, every 30,000 kilometers. And then our transmission fluid, or transmission oil, should I rather say, is replaced every 45,000 kilometers. And then, of course, our cabin filter for our air conditioning system is also replaced every 45,000 kilometers. So in the case of the Suzuki Otiga, you can see clearly that every 45,000 kilometers, we would consider that to be a major service. Now, obviously, each manufacturer and each model has subcategories of services and very specific service schedules that occur with those categories. And obviously, the more complex a vehicle, different things get done to that vehicle itself. Now there's a few other things that we're going to check while we have the vehicle up and during a major service which I'll take you through now. So some of the other elements that we're going to inspect during our major service includes having a look at our wheel bearings and we do that with the wheels on and we try and get any sort of movement of the wheel from top and bottom to inspect the wheel bearings and then we'll also check some of the steering elements by trying to pull on the wheel left and right to see if there's any movement there. And then on a major service, we're also going to measure up the condition of the discs as well as the brake pads themselves. And in the case of the Otiga where it's got drum brakes, we'll measure the actual condition of the brake shoes on the rear. And then if we come underneath the vehicle, we're going to start inspecting some of the suspension components. So we'll check the bushes to see if the bushes are still in good condition. While we're here, we can have a look at the CV boots, both on the outer and on the inner side of the shaft. And we can also inspect to see if there's any leakages on the shock absorber. And if we move underneath the engine, we can start to inspect the gearbox mounts and the engine mounts we'll have a look at from the top. And we'll also have a look to see if there's any leakages from the engine or the gearbox itself. And then just looking further back Underneath the vehicle, we'll have a look to see if any wiring has been damaged or ripped out or any piping, for example, that exists over here and the condition of the exhaust and for any other damage that might have occurred with the driver of the vehicle perhaps impacting something on the road. So you can see that there is a lot that goes into both a minor and a major service from an inspection point of view, perhaps a replacement point of view as well. And that's why our recommendation is, is that even if your vehicle is out of warranty, you should really still take it back to the franchised operation for its services because the dealerships will then have the proper correct special tools. They'll have the training schedules. They'll also have the, the correct experience in terms of technicians. And importantly as well, is that when they plug in the diagnostic tester, they will be able to see if there are any outstanding workshop campaigns or any software updates that might need to occur on the vehicle. 
So that's it on our episode on how things work and having a look at what goes on behind the scenes when you take your car in for a service. We hope that it was useful for you and we look forward to seeing you on next week's episode of Let's Talk Automotive.